Andrew, you ready to meet the teams in this first match? Oh, Pat, you know I am. All right, this is, this is going to be an awesome match. Just look what we've got here. First up, we've got a team that did the impossible this year. They did something no team has ever done before. They had a perfect season. Introducing Team 254. They've got the full send. It's the Cheesy Poop. In the center red station, they won the championship in 2015. They made it to Einstein this year. They are Team 1678. They're the Citrus Circuits. And joining them, another Einstein team, Team 2910. It's Jack in the Bond. Down on the blue lines, an Einstein team from 2017. It's 604. Wix Silver. In the center station, Team 8. They are Pally Robotics. And the winners of the Pacific Northwest Championship this year, Team 2471. And them Team Mean Machine. It's hard to see beyond what's inside. All right, give me a minute. And when you tilt the light, I realize. We are ready to start this first match. So, drivers behind the line. Three, two, one. Power up. Here we go. Match number one, Chessy Champs 2018. We're going for the double robot auto on the scale with 1678 and 254. Citrus getting stuck underneath the scale. Looks like it's going to be a half send for the Red Alliance. Doesn't matter though, Blue is going to answer with their own. They've got a cube in their switch, and they're looking to keep it that way. Over on the Blue Alliance, we have Mean Machine trying to get their cube up into the scale, fighting off the already massive collection of cubes that 254, 2910, and 1678 are putting up in that scale. Folks, this is going to be a fight for that scale for Blue all match long. Red's just trying to keep it in their favor. We currently have 1678 getting cubes from that pyramid, putting them in their switch and into their vault. It's going to be critical for these teams to fill up that vault and get those power-ups for the end game. 2910, they're jacking the bot. They're putting cubes over into the red side of the blue alliance switch, trying to cancel out that blue possession. Meanwhile, alliance partners team eight, Pally Robotics, saving 2471 from tipping over. That's some cool opportunity if I've ever seen it. But unfortunately, they just cannot land that cube inside the scale, but they'll try again. Meanwhile, 1678 going in for their cube on the scale. They need to align it perfectly so that they don't really fall off that ramp. They're going a little sideways, but it's clutch. It's good. They got it. 2910 following in suit. Meanwhile, 254. They're getting a cube from their portal, just filling up that red alliance switch. Here we go, 2471, they're the mean machine. Tipping the scale, uh, unfortunately using their robot, so that doesn't count. If you could do that, it would make this match a lot easier. We're counting down to 30 seconds remaining in the match. Over 150 point differential between these two alliances, but hopefully this end game can even things out. 254 is going for the climb, 2910 also going for a double climb. We've got 2910 up but down. 254 is gonna go for a climb as well. It looks like 2471 trying to get that buddy climb with eight in the final seven seconds of the match. 2910 looks like they're up, 254 is up. We've got two robots up on blue and it's at, that's our match.
Harper scores in from that match. It goes to the Red Alliance, 444 to 227. Robo Sports Network, tell us what we just saw. Match there by, by the men in the first match here. We're really going to see some incredible matches coming out of this West Coast competition. Now, what I'd like, the, sorry, don't let the scores lie to you here. I'd like to talk a little bit about how Team Mean Machine and Team 8 put up a great fight here despite the powerhouse of the Triple Einstein Alliance. Yeah, the, immediately in that match, the autonomous mode is what really set that blue alliance behind. They were so close on the cubes, but we're going to go to an instant replay here, one of the technologies we're bringing here to the field. So we'll bring up our instant replay onto the, the main screen here, and I want to show you guys this autonomous mode. This is such a key part of the match. If you watch what happens on the blue alliance whenever we get going here, taken off here, Mean Machine, capable of putting up four cubes. They did it at championship event. We have three of the four cube autos uh, ever in the entire season on the field in this match, but Mean Machine just falling short right here, not able to get those cubes. They're going to come back and get plenty of cubes on the scale, but that alone is going to really hurt them throughout this field. Yeah, it's really hard to recover from that in Autonomous, especially uh, when you miss the first cube, um, but then when you miss all the remaining ones after that. So Red really had the edge coming out of Autom, but they struggled a little bit too. Um, you know, Citrus and 254 were in each other's way a little bit, but um, once, uh, once they were ahead by three cubes out of Auto, it's just really, really difficult in this game to come back from that. Yeah, and speaking of struggling in Auto, they all, both alliances missed the auto quest here, and with so many amazing teams, all of these ranking points are going to be super important. Now, the getting the auto quest will get you an extra ranking point. Winning gets you two ranking points, and then at the very end, if you climb and face the boss, then you also get a ranking point. And there was some drama there, too, as well. Yeah, it was fun to see 1678 and 254 clearly at the end have to, um, you know, go to the backup plan, um, but it looked beautiful, um, and it was kind of cool to see. Yeah, that, that's really a point of the caliber of these teams, the fact that they can have everything go wrong there at the end of the game, and they still get both of the hangs in. They can switch into that plan B mode so quickly, and that's what effective teams do here, and that's how they stay competitive match after match after match.